This whole thing, I mean, who uses VHS anymore? Hey, 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 what are you doing, man? First of all, that's not how you properly dispose of electric equipment. You don't just throw it in the trash. You gotta take it somewhere where they dispose of it properly. Second of all, this machine is still useful to weirdo musicians. Oh man, now that we've saved this VCR from going to Radio Shack heaven, let's show you how we can use it for music. Here we go. Ciao. This VCR is literally from my childhood, and I never thought I would ever have a reason to ever use it again. While some hipsters are salvaging the VHS format to win nostalgia points with their cool friends, it turns out we can also use this for music. You see this? It says Hi-Fi Stereo. And you know, that ain't referring to the video quality. I almost dropped it. This thing actually records good sound. I can see the look of skepticism on your face. Don't believe me? Well, if you're old enough, do you remember how bad Jurassic Park sounded after you played it 100, 200, 300 times? No, you don't. You only remember the picture getting funky, and thank God we never have to go back to tape for video. Gone. Streaming on Netflix. Now let me explain a little bit. Those three letters, VHS, what do they mean to you? What do you think they stand for? You ask the average person who's even old enough to remember, sorry Zoomers, they probably think it stands for video home system or something along those lines. But when this was originally designed by JVC in Japan, VHS actually stands for vertical helical scan. What? Huh? The term helical scan refers to the tape head itself in the VCR. Unlike tape heads on a reel-to-reel -reel machine like this TAC here, or on this Tascam Porta Studio, or, or on a cassette player, unlike those tape heads, which remain stationary as tape passes over it, in a VCR, you have a slanted head that spins crazy fast as the tape goes by. I don't want to get into the physics of how that works. I'm not a physician, I'm not a physicist. There are more technical explanations across the internet. If you'd like to see some of my favorite, check out the description below. So instead of trying to explain it, how about I just take the lid off of this VCR for theatrics and optical sensations. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Fascinating what's going on in here. And you can see on my nice camera angle, uh, that's the tape head. And we're gonna watch it spin here soon. Let's uh, throw a tape into this. I happen to have my favorite brand, Maxell. Here we go, let's see what happens. Look at that, isn't that cool? Check out the tape path. In essence, it's this spinning head that gives VCRs hi-fi audio. Because, as you know, because you watch this channel, tape speed greatly affects the quality of sound. So those are the guts of the VCR. And you might still be asking, well, how do I use this for music? VCRs all have recording capabilities, which includes their audio. And right here, I'm gonna show you some B-roll of this VCR. You can see these regular line inputs. They're very uh, standard. They come out of the Tascam, and yes, stick them into that VCR. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take an old mix and record it onto the VCR. The experiment. So how does this cheapo VCR compare to the TX? Do you think you can hear the difference? I'm gonna take one of these original made on tape four track sessions and do a, a new mix. I'm gonna mix once into the VCR, I'm gonna mix into the reel to reel, and then I'm gonna mix straight into the computer and use that as a control subject because we are scientists and we need a control subject. So coming up, you're about to hear those toggled back and forth. I'm actually gonna give your ears a real shot this time I'll toggle between, let's call them numbers one, two, and three, and you'll have to guess which one is the 
VCR, which one is the real real, and which one is just the straight up Tascam going into the computer. Are you ready? Let's do it. guesses the number one is the control subject it's the task cam going straight into the computer the number two was the TIAC reel to reel and the number three was the VCR let me know in the comments your initial gut reactions and what you think could you tell the difference? Was it obvious or surprising? For me, you guys, some of you might be kicking and screaming because clearly there was a huge, huge hiss on the VCR. And it's really, it was really fascinating. I didn't tell you before the experiment, but I changed nothing, you know, going, going into the TAC and the computer and the VCR. I didn't change any settings. I didn't change gain or nothing. So it's really interesting how the TIAC can take it. Um, but what I will say, and what I probably would do and should do in the future, is not just go straight into the VCR. You should have some kind of preamp or some kind of uh, uh, mm, intermediary device to get more gain uh, going into the to the VCR. The VCR is such hi-fi quality audio that it literally picked up everything and all including all the bad stuff and it and it made it more amplified. I'm not going to immediately shun the VCR. In fact, I've already used it on an upcoming track. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the VCR more as a a stereo bouncing technique, a bounce machine. So when you get the if you ha if you don't know what that is, check out my video on the stereo bouncing technique. The VCR will work great for that. As I go forward, maybe I'll share some things that I learn about it. Again, this is my old VCR from home. It is a cheap Sony blah 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 i don't even the numbers and letters i don't remember maybe i'll write them here it is a not a high quality vcr as i mentioned earlier there are some great youtube videos on this very topic of using vcr for sound and it, that is a rabbit hole that you can go down if you so choose it would i recommend acquiring a vcr to, as an extreme advantage probably not uh, I think it's fun to mess with, but gosh, you know, most of us these days have computers and if the whole point is the high quality sound, you're not gonna get a better quality sound than the computer. Maybe you work at a job where you're in front of a computer screen all day, then I would highly recommend getting a VCR because then you could be totally off out of the box. And the only reason you would need a computer is if you want to distribute your music to the masses. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Otherwise, stick around to watch the VCR machine recorded during Mixdown. I personally think it's mesmerizing. With that, as always, peace and be good to each other. Thank mm -hmm. you.
production value on this was higher than normal. 